Hi, I'm Millie Davenport, a horticulture extension agent with the Clemson University Home and Garden Information Center. Today we're looking at hardy evergreen ferns. We're here in the South Carolina Botanical Gardens and we're going to look at a few evergreen ferns. Now when we think of evergreen, we think of plants usually like our trees and shrubs that hold their foliage for two to three years. Well with evergreen ferns it's a little different. They actually will hold their foliage through the winter months and then that foliage will actually die back and as spring comes on and that's when the new foliage will come on. Now the first fern we're going to look at is a native fern and it is the Christmas fern, Polysticum acrosticoides. The Christmas fern gets its common name from a couple of different stories. Um, there's three different stories that I've heard about this common name. The first one is if you look at the penny or the actual leaflets on the frond, they look like a Christmas stocking or, Chris, or a winter sleigh. Um, the other story is that um, this is one of the few things that is green at the time of Christmas. And the other story, which I prefer and like the reason for this name, is that the early settlers of North America used the Christmas fern to decorate it during the holiday season. The Christmas fern has a classic fern shape with these really nice arching branches and the fronds themselves will reach about one to two feet long and the widest part of the frond is in the middle. You'll see that it's more narrow toward the bottom and more narrow at the tip. It does have a clumping habit and does send out new rhizomes where new plants come up. With each new rhizome there is an opportunity for digging up that plant and relocating it to multiply it in your garden so that's a great plus with this plant in your landscape. The Christmas fern prefers a shady location with moist, well-drained soil. The nice thing about it is that it will tolerate a drought once it is established. We're looking at a different species of the genus Polysticum. This is Polysticum polyblephrum. This is native to Japan and Korea and the common name is Japanese tassel fern. The species name polyblephrum means many eyelashes and if you look at the reikis or the midrib of the frond you'll see lots of little hairs that are called scales on this frond um, and that they kind of look like eyelash, eyelashes so that is where that name comes from as well as down on the stipe which is the bottom portion of the frond you'll see lots of little hairs or scales as they're called. The Japanese tassel fern does grow in clumps and we call them a crown and you can see here there's a large crown where the fronds are coming from. Um, you can actually see these really nice cute little fiddleheads coming down, coming up from the crown. And this is where your new fronds come from. The fronds on this plant reach one to two feet long and they have a really nice glossy green dark foliage to them. The fronds can reach up to 10 inches wide so you get really large fronds with this particular fern. The kind of glossy shimmer to these fronds make it really nice mixed amongst your hosta garden or a shade garden in your landscape. We're looking at another plant native to Japan and this is Sertomium falcatum, Japanese holly fern. Um, it gets the name holly fern for the shape of its um, penny or leaflets on the fronds. The fronds are actually um, very leathery and coarse textured. Now we just looked at the Japanese tassel fern that has a really fine texture to it and also another leathery kind of leaf to it. Both the tassel fern that we just looked at and the holly fern, because they have the leathery foliage, it makes them very tolerant of dry conditions. So that's nice for our dry conditions we have in the summertime in South Carolina. The holly fern has a really nice crown shape to it as well with these really large arching fronds coming out that reach about one to one and a half foot long. And the actual fronds themselves can reach four to seven inches wide. So they have a lot of width to the fronds. So this is gonna add a lot of coarse texture to your shade garden. These evergreen ferns are easy to grow, relatively pest free and even deer resistant. Um, they just need a shady location with a moist, well-drained soil and they'll add a lot of great interest with their different textures and leaf colors in your shade garden. For more information on gardening, landscaping, insect and disease problems on your plant, visit the Home and Garden Information Center website at www.clemson.edu hgic.